Probably the most basic cause of religious problems is the lack of respect for the authority of the Bible. Authority is defined as the right to exercise power, and as to divine matters, we find that that authority comes from God. We all must learn that we have to have Bible authority for all that we do in religious matters. In fact, in Colossians 3 and verse 17, Paul wrote, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Now to do a thing in the name of Christ is to do it by his authority. So why do we need this authority? Well, the chief priests and the Jewish elders, they understood the need for authority as they asked Jesus in Matthew 21 and verse 33, or I'm sorry, verse 23, by what authority doest thou these things and who gave thee this authority? Well, as we settle matters that are of a spiritual nature, we must always ask the question, by what authority doest thou these things? Well, Christ is the one that has all authority. He is the one that has the right to establish authority. He claimed in Matthew 28, 18, that all authority or all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. If Christ has all power, then that leaves none for you or me. We do not have the right to establish our own authority in spiritual matters. We must stick with what Christ has established for us to follow. And we need to respect that authority of Christ in all things. But how is that authority revealed? Well, God's authority is made known because, as we see in Hebrews 1, verses 1 through 2, that in these last days, meaning the Christian age, now yes, granted, we know that during the patriarchal age, and then during the time of the law of Moses, that God did communicate with man in different ways, that authority was established in different ways. But as the writer of Hebrews establishes at the very beginning of his letter, he says that the way that God speaks to us today, the way that that authority has given is by his Son. It's through Jesus Christ and God's Son then chose apostles to make known his authority as the Holy Spirit directed them to write. We read in Ephesians 3 verses 3 through 5 how that, how that by revelation he made known to me, talking about the Apostle Paul, the words to write. He said, even as I wrote afore in few words, the Holy Spirit was the one by Jesus Christ, Jesus was telling the Holy Spirit what to inspire these apostles to write. Therefore, that authority did not come from the Holy Spirit. That authority did not come from the apostles, but it came from Jesus Christ himself. But now there are three ways that Bible authority is expressed, and we'll talk about this more in depth in a future lesson. First, we see that there was a direct command. We see this when Peter said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, in Acts 2.38. This was a direct command. Him speaking as he was moved by the Holy Spirit, coming from the authority of Jesus Christ himself. This command was that everyone must repent and be baptized if they want their sins to be taken away. But also, we can look to apostolic examples. And we can also see divine authority in this, like the ordaining of elders in every church in Acts 14 and verse 23, that coming together upon the first day of the week to break bread in Acts 20 and verse 7. But then authority can also be expressed by what we call necessary inference. Well, the Bible says that when Jesus was baptized, he went up straightway out of the water. Then we also look at the example of the conversion of the Ethiopian. It says that they went down into the water, both Philip and the eunuch. Well, because he went up out of the water, the eunuch went down into the water. 
then we can learn that this baptism was something that actually required a full immersion in water. And so, as we look at this subject of Bible authority over the next few days, keep in mind that in everything that we do, in word and deed, it must be done in the name or by the authority of Jesus Christ. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today, and have a blessed day.